right now I'm not even I'm out of words I don't know what to say but losing Jaim is like losing myself Jaim was a Jaim was a very humble easygoing person very jovial friendly with everybody around and stuff um, for sure I know that Jaim was a person where violently he did not get involved in that more like even if I him rang you or you rang him you more like to run the song and cry and then just get over it and move on but he's not a violent person he's not a person you can really just come to with certain things and him just take it him always try to figure out a way to get to either me his mother or his grandmother first before he move about doing anything tell us how you felt about the discovery feelings when i think feelings would have been the, the perfect word because it's like I was nothing, I was nobody at the time when I really realized it was him. When I got the call about a body being found, my best friend called me, say a body being has been found in penance, I need to come and check on it. I was at the time in a paymaster line in Maypen. I got so frustrated but with the help of the security there I got through and leave. When I leave, I realized I wouldn't be getting a taxi to reach up there early enough, so I called my baby father to bring me up there. And on the way, I got a next call saying that probably the body is not Jaim because the body had a tattoo to it. So I was, my mind was free at the time, said, so okay, if the person has a tattoo, is not Jaim because Jaim doesn't wear it, doesn't have a tattoo. But then my mommy called me and said that there is a red pullover on the scene and I know for sure Jaim has a red pullover so then again I got I started worried and I was even hurrying up the, the driver saying for me case I reach up there when I reach I saw the crowd I saw the police I saw the you call it the earth and the earth the body van and as I got nervous same time but then I saw my best friend and I asked the car driver to stop and him stop and I come out the car yes, and I hug her before and tell her that I asked her, I asked her if she's sure it is Jaim and she said she don't know because the body is swollen so she cannot tell if it's Jaim yes or no so that is when the cameraman had the scene show me a picture on the camera when he showed me the two pictures i said i cannot identify him from that because i don't see nothing where i should say it's giant and then i know for sure i start grieving i was crying i was told that i faint away i'm not so sure oh when or what but coming back to my sense i realized it was really it was really, I was really in the mood of grieving for my son. Not sure if it was his body as yet. But then the reporter come to me and said, if I ask if I'm sure, if I want to check on the body, and if I'm sure I can angle it and I tell him yes. And then he take me to the van, because the body was already took up and put in the van. He take me to the van and pull the zip. When I, re when I look at it, Yes, the face part looked like Jaim, but cannot really sh sure because of the body was falling. But then I asked him to show me the hair because I could identify him from his hair. When I look at the hair, I saw the ear texture and realized that it is him. And there's also a scar he got when he was a minor baby. The scar was could still be seen on the face, so then I knew for sure it was him. Well, of course, this is where this young man will attend worship service 
and uh, well, the youth leader will give some report. But of course, for me and the congregation, we and even the family, our prayerful support. They really need that spiritual upliftment. And in a time like this, it's really disastrous. And from the church, we really mourn with the family. We were zero up to last night, praying with them and encouraging them. Because, of course, it's really something that the whole community have been shivered. And we're here as servant of the Most High God to give whatever support we can. Of course, mentally, socially, and spiritually, physically. Our presence, we allow our presence to be felt, and so on. We had three days of children's fast. And from Monday to Wednesday, Tahim came Tuesday and Wednesday right, to the fasting. It was the first I was seeing Jahim, and he was early. He and his friend, his friend took him to the fast. They came very early. They were the first ones to arrive. And I had spoke with him. I introduced myself to him, and he, he did the same. And I asked him, you know, what will really inspire him to come to the fast? He told me that his friends invited him. And I said, wow, that is so beautiful because fasting, children don't gravitate to fasting at all. And so he was really happy to come to the fasting. Anyway, I said to him, well, I, I would like you to go to the altar and both of you pray. And they did so. Okay, so during the service, you know, he sat quietly, he listened very keen here. I noticed that he is a keen listener. Also, during the service, after the message and all of that, we asked the children, who would like to give their hearts to the Lord? Jahi was the first one to hold up his hand, indicating that he wants to serve the Lord. And we were really proud of him because it was his first time we were seeing Jahi. And we were really happy for him. After church, you know, we talked with him and asked him that, you know, told him that he could return the other day, which would be the Wednesday, the last day of the fast. Jai, where do I start when it comes to Jai? Jai, um, you know, we have, we have lost a bright, bright, bright-minded, um, someone who we, we were really hoping to see the... You know, the, the, the truth is, I don't even know where to start as it relates to Jaim because Jaim was the type of person who was very manageable. Also, Jaim was one who you could call on at any given time. High with community spirit is one that is very loved right across. And it still puzzled my mind up to this day. Um, why would anyone want to hurt such a humble, humble, humble kid? It, it's very unfortunate, very, very unfortunate. And the community have lost, uh, a community have lost someone that we was really hoping uh, to see turn out in life to, 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 to I, I don't know, it's, it's just difficult. It's really, really difficult to give a feedback on Jai, sir, as the counselor for the area. All right, sir.